Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease. It is a bacterial disease caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. Treponema pallidum is a gram-negative helical-shaped bacteria. It is a member of the Spirochytaceae family. Its genus is Treponema and its species is pallidum. It is a motile pathogen as it has a periplasmic flagellum. It is an obligate parasite whose host is humans. It is transferred via sexual intercourse or from mother to fetus. Syphilis is more common in males than it is in females, with a higher number of cases reported in males who engage in sexual intercourse with males. In 2014, the ratio of reported cases of syphilis in males, females was, males to females was 14 to 8. The median age of a person who contracted syphilis was 32 years old. The initial, the initial symptoms of syphilis are generally pain-free and tend to go unnoticed. The primary symptoms of syphilis are the presence of a sore called cankers, which can appear around the penis and surrounding areas and inside, the, and, inside and surrounding the vagina. Cankers are usually pain-free and tend to go unnoticed. Secondary symptoms appear in the form of rash. The rash is, a commonly, found, is commonly found in the palms or patients' hands or the soles of their feet. Sores can also develop in other areas of the body, including the mouth. Symptoms can last from anywhere between two to six weeks or even up to two years. Symptoms may stop presenting themselves, and during this time, patients may think that the infection is gone, but this is not always the case. If treatment is not taken, syphilis could lead to long-term health implications such as nerve damage, brain damage, and in severe cases, death. Syphilis is transmitted through direct contact, especially direct co contact with lesions or cankers containing the Treponema pallidum bacteria. Transmission of syphilis occurs through vaginal, oral or anal sex. This is because cankers occur mainly on the external genitals, vagina, anus or in the rectum. Cankers can also occur in the mouth and on the lips. Syphilis can also be congenital. This means a pregnant woman that has acquired syphilis can pass it on to her child. In 2015, the HSPC published a statement stating the following facts about syphilis. The incidence rate of early infectious in infections increased by nearly 30%. This is 5.8 per 100,000. No congenital syphilis cases were notified. 61% of cases of syphilis met the laboratory criteria, criteria of early infectious of syphilis. This means this data does not represent the total number of syphilis cases. In regards to early infections of syphilis, the incident rate of 10.6 per 100,000 in the HSE East was significantly higher than the national rate of 5.8 per 100,000. The majority of cases occurred in males. 84% of cases were reported in people over 25 years of age. 82% of cases occurred in men who have had sex with men. The highest rates were found in the 25 to 29 year age group. It is interesting to note that 30% of these cases were co-infected with HIV. This just, to show, this just shows that these STIs may go hand in hand. Syphilis does not have one specific laboratory test that diagnoses the infection. The first thing to do to test for syphilis is to look for lesions, especially around the genital area. This is known as the primary or secondary stage. At this stage, the, lesion, lesions, the lesions are rich in treponema, Syphilis cannot be grown up on a culture media and therefore several other tests are needed to be carried out. Syphilis can be diagnosed by dark field examination under the microscope of the lesion produced from the treponema pallidum bacteria. The shape of the bacteria are spirochytes. This, may, this can be seen in the dark field examination if syphilis is present. Syphilis can also be diagnosed by immunofluorescent staining. This is the use of a combination of fluorescent antibodies against the corresponding specific antigen. The antibody targets the protein and this causes the fluorescence to be displayed. When immunofluorescent staining is observed under the microscope, polymerase chain reaction or PCR can also be carried out. This technique amplifies single copy or multiple copies of one piece of DNA over, over different magnitudes, producing from thousands to millions of copies of a specific DNA sequence. These tests are direct tests. An indirect diagnosis test that is carried out with the syphilis infection is serology. The no treponomal test measures both immunoglobulin IgG and IgM antibodies formed by the host in response to materials released by the damaged host cells and lipids from the bacteria T. pallidum. 
This test is used for screening. The sero serological trypanomal test is used for confirming that the pathogen is T. pallidum. A positive con confirmed sero serological test result indicates the presence of trypanomal antibodies, but it does not indicate the stage of the syphilis infection. The antibiotic penicillin can be used to cure syphilis because trypanema pallidum is a gram-negative bacteria. Its cell wall consists of almost 90% peptoglycan. Penicillin breaks down the peptoglycan in the cell wall, destroying the bacterial cell. The antibiotic is administered intramuscularly to cure a person with primary, secondary or early latent syphilis. However, it is possible for the patient to be allergic to penicillin. To prevent an allergic reaction, penicillin can be substituted with other antibiotics such as doxycycline or tetracycline. While these antibiotics are effective in the treatment of syphilis, if treatment is not administered quick enough, the infection can have serious consequences such as brain or heart damage. The complications associated with syphilis range from headaches, fever and body rashes to mental illness, neurological pro problems and in the most severe cases death. When syphilis is not treated at its source, it's spread throughout the body and it causes major, causes major problems with different areas and reaches. A major illness associated with syphilis is neurosyphilis. This occurs when the infection invades the ner nervous system and causes symptoms similar to a stroke. However, neurosyphilis takes years to develop and treatment of the infection prevents the complications becoming this severe. There is currently no vaccine to prevent the spread of syphilis. Therefore, the only guaranteed method to avoid contracting syphilis is to abstain from having sex. The use of latex condoms can also prevent the spread of syphilis, but is not 100% effective.